Seattle plane hijacker's final YouTube post reveals his boredom with his job. The final YouTube video posted by a Seattle plane hijacker depicts a happily married man with a monotonous job that's only silver lining was the travel opportunities it afforded him. Richard Russell has been revealed to be the 29-year-old who stole an Alaska Airlines jet from the Seattle-Tacoma airport and took it for an hour-long joyride before crashing on an island in a ball of flames on Friday evening. A video posted to Russell's amateur travel blog in December 2017 provides an intimate view into his life as a ground service agent for Horizon Airlines, a job that consisted primarily of loading and unloading luggage, paying only $13.75 per hour. Hi, I'm Bebo Russell and I'm a ground service agent. That means, I lift a lot of bags. Like, a lot of bags. So many bags. He narrates over back-to-back -back clips of suitcases being loaded on and off of airplanes as a light-hearted tune plays in the background. Look at all them bags. Ooh, a purple one, he says cheekily. After making the point about the monotony of Russell's job through several drawn-out luggage clips, the video flashes a selfie of the 29-year-old working in the rain, followed by footage of a storm soaking the sea tacked tarmac. I usually have to work outside in this. Russell says. But, it allows me to do some pretty cool things, too. The second half of the two-minute video is devoted to Russell's travels, featuring photos and videos from his different trips around the world. Several of his adventures were in his wife's home state of Alaska, including a plane tour of the Misty Fjords in Ketchikan and hiking trips at Hatcher Pass in Palmer and Mendenhall Glacier in Juneau. He also shows off clips from a ski trip at Schweitzer Mountain in Sandpoint, Idaho, and a hiking trip at Precipice Trail in Maine's Acadia National Park. Outside of the U.S., one of Russell's favorite locations appears to be France, where he toured everywhere from Alsace to Sistan to the Lavender Field in Valenzuela. Other international experiences shown in the video included a hurling match in Dublin, Ireland, and a guy's weekend at Chishintse in Mexico. Russell wraps up the video with several photos at gatherings with friends and family, saying, Most importantly, I get to visit those I love most. Russell met his wife in Oregon in 2010 while they were in high school and the couple moved to Seattle in 2015. While living in Seattle, Rich started working for Horizon Airlines with the hopes of working in a management position. He also had dreams of becoming an officer in the military. On Friday night around 8 p.m. local time the 29-year-old stole a 76-seater Horizon Air turboprop Q400 from a maintenance area and took to the skies, despite not having any apparent flying experience. While he was in the air, Russell described himself to air traffic controllers as just a broken guy. This is probably jail time for life, huh? I would hope it is for a guy like me, he says in a video released by authorities. At one point he joking asked, Hey do you think if I land this successfully Alaska will give me a job as a pilot? A controller, trying to keep him on side, replied, You know, I think they would give you a job doing anything if you could pull this off, to which Rich said, Yeah right. Nah, I'm the white guy. Two F-15 fighter jets scrambled from Portland minutes after the plane took off to intercept it, according to Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Witnesses described seeing the aircraft performing barrel rolls and loop-the-loops as the military planes directed it away from highly populated areas and towards Ketron Island, where it crashed into a ball of flame. Sheriff Paul Pastor confirmed the incident was not terrorist-related and described it as a joyride gone terribly wrong. In a statement just before midnight, Alaska Airlines, an affiliate of Horizon, said a ground service agent took an out-of-service plane without clearance. Part of a ground service agent's job is to direct and ice planes, as well as managing luggage. If you're physically strong, enjoy working outdoors, have an impeccable work ethic, and love to travel, this could be the best job you've ever had, maybe even a lifelong career, a job posting for the position says. Shortly after the plane took off, traffic controllers were heard on an internet livestream speaking to a man identified as Rich. There is the runway just off your right side in about a mile, do you see that? The traffic controller said. Oh those guys will try to rough me up if I try to land there, 
Rich replied. I think I might mess something up there too. I wouldn't want to do that. Oh they probably have got anti-aircraft. They don't have any of that stuff. We are just trying to find you a place to land safely. Yeah, not quite ready to bring it down just yet, but holy smokes I need to stop looking at the fuel cause it's going down quick. Okay, Rich, if you could, could you start a left hand turn and we'll take you down to the southeast. This is probably jail time for life, huh? I would hope it is for a guy like me. Rich, I've got a lot of people that care about me. It's going to disappoint them to hear that I did this. I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Just a broken guy, got a few screws loose I guess. Never really knew it, until now Rich, I'm down to 2100, I started at like 30 something. Air traffic control, Rich, you said you had 2100 pounds of fuel left. Rich, yeah, I don't know what the burnage, burnout, is like on a takeoff, but yeah, it's burned quite a bit faster than I expected. Air traffic control, right now he's just flying around, and he just needs some help controlling the aircraft. Rich, I mean, I don't need that much help. I've played some video games before. I would like to figure out how to get this. Make it pressurized or something so I'm not lightheaded. Rich, a minimum wage. We'll chalk it up to that. Maybe that will grease the gears a little bit with the higher ups rich, damn it Andrew, people's lives are at stake here. Air traffic control, ah rich, don't say stuff like that. Rich, I don't want to hurt anyone, I just want you to whisper sweet nothings into my ear. Rich, hey do you think if I land this successfully Alaska will give me a job as a pilot? Air traffic control, you know, I think they would give you a job doing anything if you could pull this off. Rich, yeah right. Nah, I'm the white guy air traffic control, if you wanted to land, probably your best bet is that runway just ahead and to your left. Again, that's McCourt, sick, field. If you wanted to try, that might be the best way to set up and see if you can land there. Or just like the pilot's suggestion, the other option might be over Puget Sound, into the water. Rich, dang, did you talk to McCourt? Cause I don't know if I'd be happy with you telling me I could land like that, cause I could really mess some stuff up. Air traffic control, well Rich I already talked to M. Just like me, what we want to see is you not get hurt, or anyone else get hurt. So if you want to try to land, that's the way to go. Rich, hey I want the coordinates of that orca, you know, the mama orca with the baby. I want to see that guy. Rich, hey. Is that pilot on? I want to know what this weather is going to be like in the Olympics, mountains. Air traffic control, well, if you can see the Olympics, the weather's good. I can see the Olympics from my window, and it looks pretty good over there. Rich, alright, cause I felt some, what felt like turbulence around Rainer, but there was no clouds hardly. Air traffic control, oh. That's just the wind blowing over all over the bumpy surfaces there. Captain Bill, all right Rich, this is Captain Bill. Congratulations, you did that, now let's try to land that airplane safely and not hurt anyone on the ground. Rich, all right, damn it, I don't know man, I don't know. I don't want to. I was kind of hoping that would be it, you know. Rich, I'm gonna land it, in a safe kind of manner. I think I'm gonna try to do a barrel roll, and if that goes good, I'm just gonna nose down and call it tonight. Air traffic control, well Rich, before you do that, let's think about this. I've got another pilot coming up, Pilot Joel, in just a minute here I hope. And we'll be able to give you some advice on what to do next. Rich, I feel like one of my engines is going out or something. Air traffic control, okay Rich, if you could. You just want to keep the plane right over the water. Maybe keep the aircraft nice and low. Rich, just kind of lightheaded, dizzy. Man, the sights went by so fast. I was thinking, like, I'm going to have this moment of serenity, take in all the sights. There's a lot of pretty stuff, but they're prettier in a different context. Air traffic control, do you have any idea of how much fuel you have left? Rich, 
Oh man, not enough. Not enough to get by. Like, uh, 760? 760 pounds? Air traffic control, just flying around the plane, you seem comfortable with that? Rich, oh hell yeah, it's a blast. I've played video games before so I know what I'm doing a little bit. Air traffic control, okay, and you can see all the terrain around you, you've got no issue with visibility or anything? Rich, nah, everything's peachy, peachy clean. Just did a little circle around Rainer, it's beautiful. I think I've got some gas to go check out the Olympics, mountains. Rich, I wouldn't know how to land it, I wasn't really planning on landing it. Rich, sorry, my mic came off, I threw up a little bit. I'm sorry about this, I hope this doesn't ruin your day. Rich, man, have you been to the Olympics? These guys are gorgeous, holy smokes. Air traffic control, yeah, I have been out there, it's always a nice drive. Rich, inaudible, air traffic control, hey I bet you do. I haven't done much hiking over there. But if you could start a left turn, and back towards the east. I know you're getting a good view there, but if you go too much farther in that direction I won't be able to hear you anymore. Rich, hey pilot guy, can this thing do a backflip, you think? Rich, I wouldn't mind just shooting the ST with you guys, but it's all business, you know?